The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about your headaches, migraine headaches. Why do you get headaches? What causes it? I know you have been advised so many things for your headaches and many times nothing works. And these headaches have a huge impact on your life, on your school, your job, your college, your work, right? your relationships, your performance, so many places. You are getting hampered, you are getting depressed, right? And you have done so many tests, all are normal, I know that. That's what is migraine. And it is so strong that you are afraid that there is something which is getting damaged in your body, in your brain. But make sure that 95% of headaches are safe. You are safe if your tests are normal because rest of the 5% will have an abnormal test results. Because your brain does not have any pain receptors. Your brain does not have a pain receptor if in, even if your brain is getting damaged, you will not have pain. Pain can happen because of other reasons, because of increased pressure in the brain. That can cause pain and if there is increased pressure because of stroke, because of a tumor, because of any infection, any abnormal thing, your test will show some signs. Your test will be abnormal. In migraine, tests are normal. Because migraine is not because of any such thing, it is just an electrical imbalance in the brain. It's just that your brain is hypersensitive, just like somebody can have hypersensitive skin. Somebody can have hypersensitive intestines, abdomen, and they eat something, they get uh, irritation, they get problems. They, some people have hypersensitive skin, they go out in the sun, they get problems, right? Even a little bit of you know, changes, temperature changes can cause problems. Same thing has happened in your brain. There is a genetic, genetic, deter, genetically determined electrical imbalance in the brain which causes temporary changes in the brain and the blood vessels around the brain which leads to headaches. This is just an electrical short circuit which escalates to headaches and headaches and so much you know, worse headaches, nothing else. That's why you get the symptoms of you know, sensitivity to light, sensitivity to noise and so much headache. It's nothing else. But not every headache is migraine. 95% of the times headaches are safe. And if your tests are normal, it's migraine. But still, there are some criteria which you need to meet, right? If you just have once, if you have headache once, it's not migraine. You need to have at least five attacks, five migraine attacks and which should be these attacks should be number one between 4 to 72 hours duration of headache 4 to 72 hours and the attack should be either two of four things either it should be unilateral one-sided it should be pulsatile pulsatile or it should be third moderate to severe moderate to severe headache means it's so strong that it even hurts to touch your head to shake your head or even hair it can hurt to touch your hair also and even it can cause dizziness visual blurring blurring visual problems fourth thing it can that it increases by doing routine physical activities it causes problem it increases by doing physical normal physical activities it has to be 4 to 72 hours of duration, 5 attacks and at least 2 of these criteria, at least 2 of these 4 should meet and then there is one more criteria which should meet, either it should be associated with photophobia and phonophobia meaning sensitivity to light and sound or you should have either you should have nausea or vomit, vomiting, nausea or vomiting. So all these things should meet then you are set to have migraine plus all your tests should be normal that means it is not the headache is not attributed to other causes other causes like a sinus headache a stress tension headache cluster headache etc etc so there are other reasons of headache right but in your case if it is a migraine then test will be normal any other thing will be normal 
So in that case, what happens inside your brain? See, number one, there is trigger. There are triggers and there are n number of triggers. So you have to first find out what triggers your headache, what triggers these electrical imbalances in your brain. And it can be anything from a food product like caffeine or citrus product or sometimes a stressor, some uh, overload of a work, sometimes sound, sometimes noise, sometimes light, sometimes a person, sometimes a lot of, uh, you know, uh, lack of sleep. So you have to find out what is the stressors and for that you have to maintain a book. But whenever a stressor actually trigger, whenever a stressor or trigger uh, triggers an electrical imbalance, what you start to have is something called as a prodrome. Prodrome is a phase. These are stages of migraine. First stage is prodrome. Prodrome, what happens? You start feeling food cravings. You see that you have mood changes. You have fatigue problem. You have thinking problem. You might have yawning. And right? all these things, they can actually uh, be the initial phase of electrical imbalance, which actually progresses to headache. But in the middle, after prodrome, one out of six people will have aura, migraine aura. If migraine is associated with aura, it is called classical migraine. And aura happens classically from anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes prior to headache or sometimes 24 hours prior to headache. So aura is associated after, uh, aura is followed by headaches. During the aura, you can have visual or auditory hallucinations. You can see things, you might, it might be scary, it might be difficult to uh, explain, it could be difficult to describe. Sometimes people can have numbness or weakness or speech problems, slurring of speech or even a blind spot in front of their eyes. So auras can be anything, it can be scary. After aura, you will have your headaches and that headache is very severe. Again, they are because of electrical imbalance in your brain. They are not because of any damage. They are temporary, but they are very severe, very strong and they can continue from anywhere between 4 hours to 72 hours. And if it lasts further, then it is called, if it is last longer, it is called status migrinosus. Status migrinosus, meaning if you have to stop that headache, as soon as possible if you don't then the problems will increase how to stop it obviously number one thing which you need to do is you need to at that moment you need to try and relax you need to drink something or eat something and try to sleep do some meditation yoga and sleep that is the best way to try and relax if that doesn't work then you can take medicines your doctor must have prescribed you some painkillers like NSAIDs non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medicines if they don't work then they will go up to a triptan. Triptan medicines are specific medicines for migraine and these medicines can be taken if whenever you have a headache not to prevent them not to prevent them but to treat them and you have to make sure that you if you have headaches regularly then you should not take these medicines more than 10 days in a month triptans right or NSAIDs you don't, should not take these medicines for more than 10 days in one month or else your frequency of headaches might increase. And ultimately when the headache stops, because headaches can be very severe, you might even cry and shout and jump because of that and that will increase the problem, does not solve anything, right? Because it's an electrical imbalance, that means you need to relax your mind, does not work by shouting. And after you relax your mind, then there comes a post-drome phase where again you can have some food cravings, weakness, mood changings and, and fatigue, thinking problems, yawning. But then after it also, it goes away, the migraine goes away, your brain is good as new. It is fresh, it is new, it has no permanent damage, it has no abnormality. Only thing is that it's a little more sensitive and you need to stay away from the trigger and you can still reduce your sensitivity by following a good lifestyle. What that means, you need to eat breakfast on time, you need to eat your food at time, a balanced diet is needed, water is very important, 3 to 4 liters of water a day, sleeping, sleep is very important, 7 to 9 hours of sleep is important, regular exercise or a stress reducing uh, yoga, meditation and the most important thing is you need to practice deep breathing, deep breathing is important and there are many other things which your doctors can do, your doctors Especially if you have 
you know more than four days of headache in a month right if you have more than headache more than for four for more than four days in a month then you might be given medicines like to prevent migraine these might be antidepressants these might be medications like beta blockers for uh, though these maybe you might confuse it for heart but then beta blockers can also be given for this then scissor convulsions medications also work by reducing these electrical st st this balance in the brain and there are some vitamins like riboflavin which, which comes in vitamin b2 p complex uh, magnesium and these are minerals magnesium and some herbs like fever few can also be tried but then ultimately we are trying to reduce the imbalance in the brain which again is a lifestyle thing which again is a relaxation thing which you need to practice migraine is not a dangerous thing but it is a very severe thing it can cause problems in your life but will not do any permanent damage that's all you need to understand and once you understand you're not afraid so much and this solves the problem 90 percent of the times your proper knowledge solves the problems all you need to do is make a diary and write down all the triggers rate them what grade they are how 0 to 10 how severely that trigger affects you and then you're good to go you can actually manage your life easily but first thing is you need to understand your enemy only then you can win it right that's why this video is important make sure to share this video and do let me know if you have any doubts in the section below and do let me know if you want me to make a video on any other topic i'm here i'm dr paramjit you're watching doctor education stay connected and stay healthy